Hello, hello, everybody. How you doing? I'm JB, and welcome to the fourth, can you believe it, the fourth installment of the Comic Book Mystery Box Challenge. What the heck does that mean? That means I'm going to compare some mystery boxes from the community at different price points, and I am going to let the chat help me decide how they grade it out. Now, we're not doing scale of 1 to 10 or anything like that. We're just here to have a good time. We're looking for a letter grade of either A, C, or F. And it's happened, I'm just telling you. Now, before we get started, I'm not alone today. I'm not alone. I do have a special guest who's going to be helping me sort out this mess. And welcome to the stream, my friend, Biggie Shack. That's enough of that. That's enough of that. Remember what happened last time. We ain't gonna do that again. <laughs> Thanks yeah, for coming no, no, on no. the show. What's up, everybody? Glad to be here. How you? I'm, doing, I'm glad to be man? here. I'm stoked. Cool, yeah, dude. Man. I'm yeah, hoping actually, somebody no. in the chat can keep track of this. Oh no, we're all good. Oh wait a minute. Let me hit the chat real quick. Real quick. Hello. We're gonna. Hey, Kenneth Bird always in early. I don't know how the hell he does that. Kate Titus from Japan is up and awake. And my man, bearded barbarian collectibles the comic intellect p is here not only is the comic intellect p here the comic intellect p is the channel's newest supporter welcome new youtube channel member the comic intellect p i appreciate you my friend thank you all right who else have we got in the chat we got superior reviews and m3 from across the pond says hey i'll hang out for a little bit i got nothing else going on we're just gonna go for a couple a couple you know, maybe an hour or so as we unbox these and kind of compare them to each other. Backseat Driver is here, as well as Craig69. You probably got all the books that I got, because I got the Truth 2 and 3 in here, and I bet you you did too, my friend. Perry Comics is here. How are you, Perry? I don't have the jacket. I, I got the new chair. To, I, it looks funky on the back, so now I got to find the jacket. We'll get back to that one. <laughs> Bolo 368 is here. How are you doing, my friend? As well as Patrick Kelly. We're all hanging out. We're going to go through these mystery. You know, Mystery boxes, right? I'll put that graphic up again, you know. Chili's pull list is here. How you doing? Who dat? Uh, Biggie Shack. I do not exist. Barbarian Kung Fu. Man, there's a lot of people. I mean, where have I? I'm going to catch up real quick before we show that graphic one more time. Did you ever open the last Barbarian? Yeah, you were in the last show, man. You were in the last show. What are you talking about? Yes. <laughs> Hawaiian Punch 72 is hanging out with us. Hack is here. Who else do we got? Ed D. Comics and Games. Hey, what's up, Biggie? What's up? Two Flowers, Dos Flores, Citas, 9902. And my man, Agu Ramos, who got the backpack commercial. I don't know what that means. Fun Comics is here, as well as Big Lion Cat, who's at work, but he is here for the show. I appreciate you for hanging out with us, BLC. All right, who else do we got in? Uh, I think that's everybody. I don't want to miss anybody. Yule Carter popping in. I appreciate it. So, what we've got here, I'm going to put this branding out. And what it is, is every month I get some mystery boxes. I'm, a, I'm, I'm part of a couple different things. And one of them that you can see here is uh, uh, I've been part of the Comic Tom Mystery Mail Call for a long time. And it's evolved over the years. And, you know, definitely one I'm looking forward to opening today. But that is uh, right about the same price point for me as what I'm paying for my bolo box from Brian and Jack over at Simple Man's Comics is part of supporting them on Patreon. Since those are both basically monthly subscriptions, I kind of put them next to each other. I think we'll just put them, you know, we'll open them up consecutively and see how they rate against each other. Now, I've also got, Comic Kid 84 came up with this one where he said, I'm going to slam 50 books into a box for 50 bucks shipped. And, uh, and, and he let, he, he, if I was part of the show, he would have let me choose because he puts up two books. He puts where am I? He puts up two books and then you decide left or right. And I wasn't there, so I let my man Biggie Shack kind of help me decide which what's in there. So I have absolutely no idea what's in there, but there was an entire show kind of dedicated to picking out these fifty books, and I look forward to comparing those fifty books and fifty dollars to my man Adrian APM, who also had a mystery box that he put together. He had a, a couple of different custom price points. Now. He had a 50, a 75, and a 100. And I was like, you know what? I'll jump in at that 50. Let me get, let me get the toe in the water and try it out. So this will be my first ever experience with the Adrian APM box. And then, as you see right in the center there, the first, the, my, the Truth 47, no, the Truth 2 box was $47 shipped. 
the true three box was $49 shipped. So I'm just going to round them up and put all three of those together in the $50 category. And we're going to compare those to each other. But ultimately, we're comparing them to a letter grade upon themselves of A, C, or F. So what do you think, Biggie? What do you think, man? Dude, Ready that was impressive. The fourth, Very smooth. Yeah. Where's my, where's my drink? Hey, here we go. Cheers to everybody and shout out to my man, 36 Chambers Tattoo Studio. And you know what? Shameless plug to myself for the Comic Book Cousins t-shirt. You, my friend, can get a Comic Books t-shirt simply by clicking the link in the description below. There's a discount code, DISCO, for, for uh, discounted shipping. Or is it free shipping? I don't know. I don't know what it is now. It's been a while. Let me hit the chat real quick before we get started. Old Wolf, thanks for stopping in. I appreciate you. Steven Tar the second is here, as well as Yesy Lou Comics and Pops, one of the original OGs of the game. And clue, here's my man Steve. I will I let's let's take a break right now. Anybody that has been seeing the pictures of Steve Captain Comics in his youth, Broski. Looking good, bro. Yeah, no wonder you got there, Smiley Man. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think of that, Biggie? You see any of these photos? Of oh, Steve yeah, he was, guy? He was, he was back, in the day. back in the day, man. Working it out. All right. So I'm going to switch the camera here. I've got a different camera set up. And um, I've got a few overlays, actually, for this. So as you can see there, oh, there's my daughter's learning packet, which I just scored. Scored a successful week of homeschooling, everybody. That's right. All right, we got Barbarian Kung Fu. You'll have to check that one on the Rewind Yes, my friend. Let's go ahead and kick this one to the side. And what do you think we should start with? Because I like I said, we got uh, Mystery Mail Call and um, Bolo are basically the same price point. So I think it should be one of those two. And then we've got we'll keep uh, Penny at the $50 mark and the two um, Comics Elites, uh, the Truth 2 and or the Truth 2 and the Truth 3. And then right. we've got the Adrian APM box. So we're going to be here for a little while, folks. Hang out. I think we're going to go ahead and start with, you know what? We'll start with uh, Brian and Jack and check out what's in this okay. month's edition of the Bolo box. So first of all, you know, I'm a huge fan of Brian and Jack. Shout out to them. I'm digging the packaging they've got. Look at that. They got their own little package of Bolo box packaging. It's about 35 bucks, I believe, is what the price is at that membership level. Um, that gets you this gets you this one. So let's see what we got in this month's edition of the, Bro the Bolo box from Brian and Jack. What do you think of that overlay, huh? You digging that? You digging that? Pretty I good. Have, I can have one, good one more guest if, if I had another guest pop in here, man. Just saying. Just saying. We can make room. We can make room. Who else is out here okay. watching us today? Who else is out there watching there us today? Hi, Alea. Comic oh. Bro has popped in. Oh, did you yeah. see what I got this morning, by the way, from Agu? Did you see what I got this morning from Agu? Oh. Nope. You did not see what I got this morning from Agu? I was I was busy, but I was watching. I was in the chat. Oh, I just dude, missed that part. Let me show you what I got from Agu real quick. Anybody, and don't, don't, no, no spoilers in the chat, because I know there's a lot of people that were in this morning show. But I'm going to go. Oh, this is beautifully packaged right here, by the way. Full tabs. Full tabs. I even have Melody watching on a TV. Man. That's nice. All right. So this is perfectly impeccably packaged. We'll start there. And every uh, Bolo box, of course, you got to get yourself some stickers. Let's get some stickers here. We got the okay. Bolo Plus Very nice. Stickers. We've got the what is this haunted branding Eternia. haunted Eternia sticker. Ooh. And then of course you got the business card. They are comic book and pop culture there he is. influencers. There you go. Now, once we get inside that again, pull tabs. Bam, pull tabs again. Very nice. I'm impressed right now. Let's get this over here. Move out of the way. And they give you pull five pull books. tabs. Look at that. We'll get that out of the way. And let's take a look if this works out. This should all line up perfectly. There's one, two, three. There's four books in this week's Bolo box. And oh my goodness, look at this variant. I don't think I've ever seen that before. You ever seen that? Scream oh, Curse shit. of Carnage. 
Number one. Whoa. Oh, the variant cover. Drop that one in that first. Bro, one. that is yeah. liquid magma. This next one is Source Point. I love these indie titles. I'm telling you, man. Some of the best reads have been coming from these indie titles. Source Point Press presents a comic for Flint. Hope, a collection of stories to benefit the Compass, a program of Michigan Community Services. Wow, that's kind of cool. Michigan. I wonder if uh, Jack B's in the chat. That's there you go. What else did we get? Oh my goodness. Can I show this? <laughs> Holy moly. Hold on. Uh -oh. Let me get the let me get the parental advisory up real quick. I gotta I gotta drop a quick parental advisory on this one, man. Just saying, it could happen. Uh, I'm not sure what it is, but it's gorgeous. Look at this cover. Okay. Anybody in the shit, chat that looks like, uh, know what this is? Wow, I can open up the. That looks like that chick that was out. I forget her name, man. What they were saying, she's related to Superman. Let's see what this book is, folks. I'm not sure what this book is. I forget what her name is. This is Frankie's Comics exclusive variant for what is it? Exclusive variant. I can't tell what the title is. There's no title on this thing anywhere. Jeez. Seriously, there's not a title on the back cover. Wow. It just says exclusive variant of what? I have no idea. We're going to open it. Oh, oh, Naomi. I think it's Naomi, dude. Wow. Does anybody know what that is? This is gorgeous. It's I think it's Naomi. They're, they're saying Perillo, too. I believe. Right, I don't know if Naomi, Naomi. And the final book in this month's Bolo Box is Gwen Stacy number two variant. I love this cover. Bam. Very nice. Yeah. Hey, Jigs Kingdom, how are you, my friend? Thanks for taking the time to hang out. That so I want a grade D. Is. Where are we at? Yeah, yeah, we, you know what? Can you ask for a grade? I want to go grab my book from this morning because I can't believe you missed that, man. Unbelievable. Let me go. Yeah, yeah. We're, let me start we're grading A to D. All right. We're grading A to D, y'all. I'm, I'm going to go. I'm going to go C, dog. I'm putting C in the private chat, and I'm going to keep score of this. And I'm sorry, Bolo, but anybody knows me, dude, I'm not like a big variant fan is the only reason I'm going with the C. I don't know what Discovery is going to say. <laughs> I don't think $35 is bad, but uh, well, I'm not I'm not giving you bad score. All right. So, Biggie Shack, you, you, didn't, you didn't get to see this earlier, but I will go ahead and drop this one on you. Ready? Oh, we got something. Did I miss something? Yeah. Oh, there you are. Come, where's my music, man? All right, here we go. Agu Ramos. Remember I told you, wait, wait till you see this book. This yeah. is now the earliest edition of my Silver Age Avengers. Oh, no. Damn. That's a bomb. How you like me now? Wow. Was that like 13 or 15 11. or something? That's crazy. Number 11. Oh, man. Oh, you know, Jig wants that bad boy. Look at that. Avengers number 11 was this morning's What's in the Box. Nice. Courtesy Agu. of Agu Ramos. Very nice. Thanks Way to go, nice. Agu. You know, I'm getting like a bunch of letters Bs. They're giving us a letter grade of B. Or is someone writing that down? Looks like we're going to go ahead and move on to the next I got in the private chat. Yeah, yeah. I saw you. I saw, your, I saw your vote there. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and end that one. Thank you very much, Brian and Jack over at Simple Man's Comics. I appreciate you guys. That is this month's Bolo Box. I'll go ahead and put that off to the side. Now we're going to go ahead and move on over to this month's mystery mail call, courtesy of Comic Tom. Also, for me, right around that $35 price point delivered based on when I got in, all right, let me quickly hit the chat. Don't want to miss anybody. You know, I'm always out here having a good time. CFAP is in the chat. First edition comics is here. Appreciate you guys hanging out. All right, this is uh, the April mystery mail call, courtesy of Comic Tom. Now, back when I started, you used to get a trade paperback, a little art card, which I'm still very fond of the art cards, honestly, because they're, they're literally up over my head and I rotate them through. Um... And then you'd get some random comics. Uh, and of course, there'd be one or two like big boy books out there. 
that would be randomly nice. inserted. Now, what it looks like he's doing is he's got his own custom, custom um, variant covers that are being produced, and he, um, I guess, there's a grand prize where if there's a sticker or a little card, no, it's a picture of yeah. the grand prize. Yeah, if you got the picture of the grand prize, then I guess you can claim it. Now, Hack said he's canceled his Tom. Him. He's canceled. He just wasn't I'm watching him on Instagram, which is totally cool. Now, I know people that. Um, you know that variant, that exclusive Wolverine. Uh, there are people that signed up just to get that cover, and some of those exclusive covers are they're beautiful. So let's see, what we got this month. I'm not actually sure with you know everything that, that's shipping what this month's mystery mail call is going to look like, but uh, let's check it out. Hey, we got Dead Zone Citizen hanging out with us as well as my man Comic Head eighty four. Hey man, we're going to be doing your box later, Kenny. So, so hopefully you get home. Maybe you can pop on with us. All right, so this is what we got here. We're going to flip this one to this way. This is Comic Tom's mystery mail call, and it starts with it's a cute cover, but still probably a little filler. We're talking about DC Rebirth Harley Quinn number 12. DC Rebirth Harley okay. Quinn number 12. Let me put that one down there. What else have we got here? Ooh, what is this? Is this one? DC's Young Animal Doom Patrol. Never seen that. I have. Yeah, that's right. dope. Put that I got an into that. Next up, we've got. Oh, I like the sounds of it. Look at that cover. Wolverine number sixty-two. Wolverine sixty-two. Nice. Oh, you're right, Kenneth. I did not do that picture. Thanks for reminding me, man. What would I do without you? I got to put that that community post. Carefully, my Polaroid nerd. All right. Ooh, what about Tales of the Legion of Superheroes? Tales of the Legion of Superheroes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hold, on here. hold on, hold on. Let's see what else we got in here. Now we've got, there's this month's art card. There you go. That's See, he always card. wins me over with those, bro. Yeah, the art is fire. Those are, that's just nice. That one there. And then we've got this card also. Ooh, the unbeatable squirrel girl. The unbeatable squirrel girl. Okay. Now this is the one where oh, they break, this is the one where they break down, you know, what you would um post. So that hashtag <coughs> MMCAPR20 supposed to get you entered into something else there, I do believe. Or maybe even recognized on uh on the IG. But there's the squirrel girl card. Drop that one in there. All right, what else have we got? A couple more. Oh, this is the exclusive. It's the Gut Ghost, looks like. Yeah, it's got his logo on it. Gut Ghost. Gut That's Ghost cool, number yeah. one. And it's got his logo in there in the bottom right hand corner. All right, we'll put that one right mm. up there. And then the final one. God, this is this looks like it's an expensive book, man. It says Torpedo Dude. Comics $70. Batman what max arkham dreams and then there's a certificate on the back that says number 95 of 500 number 95 of 500 batman max arkham dreams torpedo edition what do you guys think of this man does anybody know if this is anything or, look that up. or am i freaking batman out max it? batman max torpedo edition has anybody ever seen that, is that before? What that is? Look at that. It's kind of cool. I'm going to look it up. And then it's got that on that the back. Max. Pretty cool. So that is this month's mystery mail call. It would be better if there was a book here, maybe. That one like that. Move the things around. Okay. Nope. Bunch of toys. There you go. There you go. There it is. The April mystery mail call from Comic Tom. If anybody okay. can tell me about that Batman book, uh, I, I, bro, I'm, I'm seeing, I'm seeing a nine point four signed by Sam Keith and Jay Lee for 80, 88 bucks. So I can't imagine that being more than a twenty thirty dollar book, bro. 
Like that's well, a gold label too. So is it, have you seen that with this uh that torpedo number ninety five of five hundred? You ever seen that? Oh yeah, it's that book. It's that book. All right, it's there you book. go. Well, hey, that helps. Maybe that'll be a prize coming up in uh, one of the shows. So there you go, folks. Uh, I'll have to snap a photo of that later and post that on Instagram to get entered into this week. <coughs> oh, we're getting some tough grades, tough grades, tough grades. We got C's and D's. There's even an F on the board. Wow. By the way, I didn't look. Was there any, was there any um, low grades on the last one? Let me slide back up. I didn't even check a look. I got a couple of B's, C's, B's, C's, B's, C's. Now I'm going to come down here and we're getting, what are we getting over here? I'm seeing... I'm seeing not so good. No. Oh, no, no, no. C's, D's, D, F, D, F, C, D. No bueno jigs. You know, How like many it. B's? I think that's a solid C. C, C minus. <laughs> Gomez is yeah. C. No. Wow. Well, I'll tell you what. I dig the art. I dig the uh, exclusive covers. Whoa. And anything that's numbered, it's not too shabby. So that's not bad. Not bad. Not bad. It's okay. Not over the top. Not over the top, but not bad. So we're going to move on to the next box. Let's see what we've got in the next. Actually, I need the graphic up here. Let's um, let's change the branding really quick. Back over to this one. We're going to swap this camera back over to this one for a second. Put you back up in here. So that's the first two rounds. Let me take a look at what we got here. That was basically comparing Brian Simpleman Comics Bolo Box monthly subscription to Comic Tom's monthly subscription to the Mystery Mail Call at a price point of roughly $35 shipped. Now we're going to move up the tier and we've got uh, Adrian APM, which is a flat $50 shipped. We have 50 books for $50 shipped from Comic Head 84. And then we've also got the truth two and the truth three. Since there's two truth, I figure we'll sandwich with truth two and three. We'll go truth two first, Adrian, comic head, truth three, and then and then we'll close the show. What do you think? Sound good? Sounds good. Sounds good to me. Sounds great. Sounds good. Let's do it. All right. So let me take this one down. And we're going to go ahead on the and check chat. out the truth number two box, which is courtesy of Comics Elite. By the way, there are links in the description to all of the suppliers of mystery boxes. And when I say suppliers, I mean I bought all this stuff. They didn't. They didn't nobody they're they're fire crazy. Uh, I helped pick them, so they're fire. So I think the was Vampirella the three. I can't remember. I got to put this overlap real quick. I can tell me what which one was the truth two and which one was the truth three. The truth three is the Vampirella. Okay, so we're gonna oh. do the truth two box. And I think the truth two box is really 47, but I rounded it up because you know, why not? Um cancel that, cancel that, cancel that. I don't want no 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 cancel, cancel that. That's not what I'm trying to do. I am trying to push me off to the side and <laughs> Man, oh man. All right, let's get back to it. Let's see if we got any comments in the chat we want to highlight. The comic Don says the truth is a lie. He says the truth is a lie. Ooh. You can't handle the truth. You can't handle the truth. So I got some free <laughs> truth. The truth comes with some freebies. I got some freebies in there. Okay. And we've got a Gemini mailer. Let's see how we got. Gemini mailers of Boron. Here we go. Welcome for your true big sickness. You know, Billy's been coming pretty correct, brother. I well, can't lie. We're gonna find out right here. I think the I think the truth box one was fantastic. Let's see if the truth two holds yeah. up to holds the water. Does my theory hold water? <laughs> Does anybody know what movie that's from? <laughs> These <laughs> youths are innocent. <laughs> yeah, we got a little soldier guy uh, pop too there, I think. Let's see what we got. Right beside you. Right. I like the gamer chair, Discovery. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just got the gamer chair yesterday. It smells like a new car. It's brutal. That's cool. All right. So let's see what we got here. The final book is in a top loader, which is kind of interesting. So we got a couple hey. of freebies. Love freebie. Free is good. There's nothing wrong let's with it. Let's go. And then it looks like we got ourselves some Marvel cards. 
I'm gonna get some Marvel cards. I love toss ins. Toss ins are not bad. Not always always Come on, man. Value. I'll take it. I'll take it. Right. Let's see what else we've got in here. Now this fifty dollar box show. And this is for, this one was forty seven shipped. Forty seven shipped, and it starts with I've never seen this before. Uh, Immortal Hulk two variant edition. Not sure what printing. Ooh, is. Cool. son. Immortal Hulk two variant. Boom! I love it. That's a nice. That's start. a good book. It's nice. That's a good starter, brother. All right, here's one that's got a certificate of authenticity on the back of it. It's number four hundred and fifty six of six hundred. Four hundred and fifty six of six hundred. X Men number three exclusive virgin variant. X Men number three oh, yeah. exclusive virgin like variant. Brooks. Damn, son, that's nice. That's pretty nice too, actually. Yeah, let's. Uh, yeah, bro, that's at least a ten fifteen dollar book, brother. Next up, we've got. Oh, I've had one of these, but there's the. Uh, this is a okay. Venom, isn't it? Mary Jane. Yeah. Mary Jane Venomized. Venomized. Yep, yep. Very nice. Yep. You know, that one kind of cool off a little bit. Hey, it's been a while since I got a black cat book, but there's another black cat number one variant. Okay. Black cat number okay. one variant. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, put you here. Because we're going to leave you for the center. Next up is Fantastic Four number one variant. I've never seen this book before. Mm -hmm. I've never I like seen the that Venom. Before. Man. Ooh, that, that's Venom, my boy. Uh, Ghost Rider. Weapon yeah. H. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Come on. That's nice, actually. And the final book, which is this is the exclusive. This is what you were buying, right? This is. All I right. Did. Certificate of Authenticity on the back. This is a copy of Killing Red Sonia number one. Fred Ian The Truth 2 box exclusive. 500 were printed and 290 of the lowest grade copies were destroyed. The rest what? were made available only in the Truth 2 Mystery Box from Comics Elite and Economics and Comics. Every copy is accompanied by this hand numbered COA verifying the print run. This is issue number 106 of 210. Bro. 106 of what? 210. I don't even know how to gauge that, bro. I don't either, man. Wow. I'll be on. This is an A box for me, man. This is you know crazy. that ain't I've never seen any of this stuff before. Yeah, you're not gonna see that. I've never seen any of this stuff before. Let's go ahead and set Sheesh. that up. The truth too is holding its own right there. I'll slide mm -hmm. these up, cover up that tape right there. So what y'all think in the chat, nice, man? That's the box. So we can get a nice yeah. shot of, and then we got the, the the cards there. We'll drop that in the frame. There you go, folks. The Truth Two box. What do you think of that one? The Truth Two is getting some great, some great, great folks. Before I say something. Fuck comic great. Great. Gomez A Bolo three sixty eight A's 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 all around. Hey. Wow, there's a B out there, but man. The truth boxes have been awesome, and the chat does not disagree. Wow, went, that is the truth number two box, folks. Good stuff. I went with Good stuff. I went with C, but I'm trying. I'm kind of uh, leaning towards B now because the chat kind of persuaded me. But B, all right. I figured if I broke it in half, it was like fifty. But no, this was forty-seven. I rounded off. Would four? Would forty-seven delivered make a difference? Because it was four. It was less than fifty. It was forty-seven delivered. I'll go B. I'll go B. <laughs> He says, I don't trust. Oh, no. Up the down. I want to read this. Okay. Because they know you're going to open it. for. Oh, no. You think so? It says, no grade. I'm too cynical. I don't trust anyone from the community who sends you mystery boxes, JB, because they know you're going to open it up for your subs. Free advertising. I'm glad I read that. Uh well, I think you don't get all great the boxes. Two boxes were all identical. If someone wants to to mention that, I think all the truth two boxes are all identical. Every single person who bought one got exactly the same thing. Right. Yeah, I think he's saying specifically the community, like we want to impress you, like perhaps like 84 or hey, somebody. That might Gomez make more does sense. not disagree. He said the down had me thinking the same thing, you know. But you know? these bigger companies, I don't know, dude. I don't know if economics or T comic tom are doing that. All right, here we go. We're going to go ahead and that is going to be the end of uh, that. Next up is going to be Adrian APM. Let's see what Adrian APM is sending us. See, if that one book, the Red Sonia, is actually 
uh, like a fifty, sixty dollar book, then that's an A. But I don't know that. So we don't know that. To... No, yeah, we don't know yeah. that. One. But I'll tell you what, I've never seen any of the other books in there either. It's pretty nice. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So okay. So the comic Don is saying he got the exact same box as I did. So it's you know. I don't think you're getting I don't special think we treatment, didn't bro. Send JB, anything special? Even okay. eighty four kept it pretty fair, dude. Next up, we're going to go with my man. If you guys aren't down with this guy, the impressions alone are funny, but he's, he's a pretty cool cat. We're going to go ahead and check out what Adrian APM has sent us for 50 bucks. What did I get for 50 bucks? There's two different boxes here. By the way, he only spent like five bucks to ship all these. So, I mean, very cleverly done. Oof. I'm sorry. This is uh, salt, solid high. The comic guy. Cool. So, well, it's Adrian APM. That's his uh, Instagram. Is solid high. The comic guy. Adrian oh, the impersonation APM. guy. Yeah, there's uh, yeah. the impersonation guy. He's got his link uh, to his YouTube channel. I believe is in the description below. Uh, shipped in those, which is totally cool. Because man, I I I love these boxes, guys. I ship a lot of these boxes out. But you know, not as cheap as this. He he taped two of these together, shipping for five bucks. What am I doing? All right, so we got two of these boxes. It was fifty dollars for both, so we're gonna open them together. I don't think that it's one or the other. Um, oh, we'll start with this one, dude. The boxes are fly, huh? Oh yeah, they've been that black. I've never seen that box. Yeah, I've that's seen the, the red one. one. All right, the mystery boxes are so different from the rest, so I didn't fall into that category. Oh, really? Nice. So let's see what we got here. Yeah, why ain't you fit the Discovery's butt, APM? Come on, man. All right, here we go. <laughs> First off, gotta love me some stickers. I right. love stickers. Everybody loves stickers. Who doesn't love stickers, right? Come on. Now let's see what we got in here. I'm... I really have no idea what's going to be in here. This could be a 50 bucks shipped. It's probably 34 books, 15. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. First up, we've got Uncanny X-Men 429. Uncanny X-Men 429. We'll drop that down on the board there. Next up, we've got Fan no, Marvel Action Hour number two featuring Fantastic Four as seen on TV. Drop that one down there. Get my sticker out of the way. Next one, we've got Uncanny X Men number 461. Look at this cover. That's Claremont, right? What? That's ugly looking. Look at that thing. Okay, next up is Fantastic Four number 13. Fantastic Four number 13. Okay. Okay. Keep going here. Keep going. <laughs> Uncanny X Men number four sixty four. Uncanny X Men four sixty four. That's on the board. Like stickers. Hey, Two Gun Pedro's here. Pew pew. Thanks for hanging out with us today. And we've got Comic Book Genius seven one three Houston Texas. How are you guys doing? All right. What else have we got going on here? We've got another Fantastic Four 67. And man, at least these are books that I'm, you know, Fantastic Four X-Men. I'm down with that. I'll move these again if I have to. All right. How about the Uncanny X-Men number 318? 318 Uncanny X-Men. I did stop collecting. My X-Men only goes to 300. So those will definitely be, unless they're a major key. So I'm going to 300 and stopping. So 311. Nope, that's not going to make yep. it up to 311. Okay. 301. That's a cool book, but it's not key or nothing. All right. Key, like where, there's two boxes. This is only one of them. 297. 297. Yeah, but they're not 25 piece. They're 50 a piece. That one's actually key. That that's one. That's dope. I think that's pretty dope. Uh, what number is that, bro? I don't know. I have to open that up and check it out. I think that's Spider Man, the uh, Fantastic Four variant, maybe. Here we go. Let's see. If that, if that's a, yeah, that might be an error book, but I could be wrong. This is if it's Spider Man. Nope. Fantastic Four number one. It's okay. the unknown it's comics not that big exclusive. Though. Unknown comics exclusive. Fantastic Four variant number it's one. Okay. And these aren't, it was, it was $50 total for all these, for both boxes. So delivered. 
Fifty dollars total. Both boxes delivered. Oh, both boxes. Excuse both me. Boxes. Both boxes. Both boxes. No, no, no. Both boxes delivered. So both boxes. That's dope. That's dope. Sorry, APM. Yeah, both boxes. So we're only halfway through the fifty bucks so far. Only halfway through. Okay. Yeah. yeah all right. Both were in the first right. time. We had a uh, what was that? Eight, ten. So we had ten, 10. in the first one. And now we're going to go into the second one, and we start with, hey, where's um, where's Scarpad? Here we go with the Star Trek Year Five. Star Trek Year Five. That's interesting. Never seen that before. Right Captain here. Kurt. Okay. Slide over. How about another Marvel Action Hour number one? Where's the other Marvel Action Hour? I had never seen one of those before. Now I've seen two. So we got Marvel Action Hour one and two. Marvel Action Hour 1 and 2. Oh, here we go. This is nice. Star Wars Darth Vader 24. Is that the final issue? I don't know if that's the final issue of that run or real close to the final that issue. That could be a big run. book. I would have no idea. Okay. Amazing Spider-Man number 5 variant cover. Amazing Spider-Man number 5 variant cover. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Uh, Uncanny X Men two ninety one. Uncanny X Men two ninety one. Okay, I might need it. You know, it might be on the list. If it's on the list. It's staying in the collection. Next up is Thing versus Things. Thing versus what? The Thing number sixteen. The Thing number sixteen. Okay. 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 Marvel Action Hour again. Hey, what do you know? Number three. So we got Marvel Action Hour one, two, and three down here. Marvel Action Hour one, two, and three. And another Darth Vader, number 22. Darth Vader 22. And what was the other Vader at? Is that IDW? This is Marvel. 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 Marvel, Darth Vader 22 and 24. Uncanny well, X-Men 389. Uncanny X-Men 389. Yeah, you're right. The Star Trek issue is a Valentine's Day issue. You're right, Bubba French. Good stuff. Okay. All right, Fantastic Four number four. I looked it up. It's about five ten dollar book. It's not bad. And the final <laughs> book is Fantastic Four Unlimited number three. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't know. I'll let the yeah. chat grade, guys. I'm only just let the chat grade that out. We're talking about fifty dollars shipped. Ship price. We're yeah. looking at about twenty books. I don't know. Go ahead and pop your vote in, guys. Pop your vote in there, guys. Pop your votes in. Let's see what we've got. Mm. I mean, at least you got a right. lot of books. Got a lot of books. You got like 20 books. You know what? I books. bet you, if for me, the interesting thing is how many end up being keepers Yeah, that end up staying in the collection. I think there's there's a good five, ten books in there that's like three I or four dollar books. About five or ten. There's yeah. probably a good five or ten that I'll keep. Maybe five. I bet you there's five in here that I keep. I already know what 84's box is going to look like, so I'm trying to be... Well, 84's Objective. box is next. We've right. got a bunch of C's. Yeah. There's one B plus A for the X-Men for CFAP. There you go. Yes, you Luke Comics and Pop says B on the volume. Stan of all says B. Comic Book Genius gave it a D. Backseat Driver says it's a B. Bubba French, B plus. And Adrian Mapiem only gave himself a B. Well, there you go. <laughs> Thank you, Adrian, dude. Uh, man, I appreciate you. For part it wasn't a bad box, dude. Okay. All right, good. so. Next up, here's the one we've been waiting for, right? Here we go. I'm in, 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 in this one's set up right. Oh, uh, yeah. Kenny, yeah. Comic Kenny 84 says, hey, Yo, let let's see what the good old. Let's, let's see what the good old NWO brings to the table, let's brother. Let's see, see what, what madness. Fifty dollars shipped from Kenny. Yeah, man. Eighty-four looks like. All right. Guaranteed certified. Woo! Gangster. My boy, Madness Hunt Champion. Get your name. Get your name Ooh. right. Get your game tight. How y'all like me now? We got the big box. 
That looks like a birthday bucks. cake, brother. Bam. Looks like a birthday cake or a. Bam. Look at that. Oh, here you go. It, yeah. This is what was this called? Yeah. The stuffed box? Because. Yeah, bro. You got stuffed. You got stuffed. You got stuffed. <laughs> Dude, I know there's some a couple in there that you're really gonna like. I don't know uh, about all of them, but all right, let's see the packaging on the you got stuffed box. 90 was trying to sabotage yeah. my pick. I, tried, I let 90 pick some of these, y'all. I didn't pick every one. All right, you know how 90 go. does. Yo, I'll, I ain't gonna be biased, Jig. If eighty four lays an egg, dude, I'll give him a bad grade, bro. All day. All damn day. <laughs> yeah, no, no doubt about it. <laughs> I just picked the books, Jig. So I guess it is oh. a little biased. I, I helped pick them. All right, folks. Here we go. Already, already We're gonna hit the comic hit eighty four box. By the way, man, I want to thank anybody that's hanging out right now. Seriously, honestly, thirty six people's still sitting in the chat i appreciate each and every one of you just taking the time to hang out with us you know we're gonna do this box and one more and call it a show uh i've been struggling to get this mid midday show in but today we made it happen and and uh, i want to thank everyone that took the time to hang out with us today all right so this is the comic head 84 get stuffed box which is 50 books shipped and let's see what we've got it starts with oh, Justice League from the New 52, number 33. I love the cover, by the way. I do okay. love the cover. Justice League 33. Hey, man, I have a yeah. pop-up shop, so if I can get you know more than a dollar off of each book, I'd be happy. All right, Excalibur yeah. Special. Excalibur Special. No number, just straight up special. There's no number. You don't need a number. That's a key. That's a key. Throw that to the side. That's a key. Put that up there. Ooh, I like that. I like the looks of this one. 50 countdown, but that Joker covers fire, bro. Bro, like that looks it. legit, dude. There I don't know go. nothing about it, but. All right. Next up, we've got Red Lantern number four. Great cover. That'll go well in my dollar round. All right. Superman doomed number two, and it's signed. Superman Doom number two signed. Who's it signed by? It looks like it's signed by Kenny. Kenny, did you sign my comic book? <laughs> Kenny? It does say Kenny. It does. It looks like Kenny. Like Kenny signed Mike. If that's an original comic head signature, that might be priceless. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next up, Suicide Squad number 47 variant. Yeah, see, that's a $3 all day in, my, in the pop-up. Suicide Squad Ooh. 47 variant. That's nasty, bro. Man. I like that. All right. Next up, we've got Blood Brothers Prelude. Blood Strike number one from Image Comics. Blood Strike okay. number one, Image Comics. Hey, Bubba French, thanks for hanging out with us, my friend. I appreciate you. Man, Russell Hudat, comics and movies still here. Thanks for taking the time. Get it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Next up, The Max number Four, the max number four. Ooh, what is this thing? The mightiest boy in the universe, Marvel Man, young number three eighty six, published by L. Miller and Company. What the hell is that? Oh shit, that's dope, bro. That's a reprint of Golden Age, bro. Damn, that is. Oh, and I pulled a Kenny with it. Perfect. Yeah, that's yeah. nice. All right, what the hell is this? Code name knockout, Vertigo. Oh, that's that's a five dollar book in the pop up all day, dude. Damn. All right, let's keep going. We've got the freeze issue number two. The freeze issue number two. Holy mm. shit, I'm keeping this one, man. Hell yeah, dude. Anyone who hasn't read Jason Aaron Southern Bastards number two. Hell yeah. Nice. nice. Hell yeah. I don't have any of that. That's cool stuff. That's a great freaking story. Another Vertigo knockout. Yeah, those are dope. The women's, the ladies, the ladies in the knockout. All right, what else have we got? Justin Jordan, Deep State Issue 1. Deep State Issue 1. 
All right. What about the wicked in the divine issue? Oh, I know what's going on. I remember how this went, Discovery. It was like it was like 25 modern, like 15 bronze, and yes, like yes, yes, yeah, yeah. yes. All right, so now you've got, I don't know what the hell this is, Spittin' Image, Yawn, number one. Spittin' Image, oh, you, Yawn, that's number one. That's cool, actually. I'm digging that. That's sick, bro. I, I would take that for five. If you what about X-Men Ultra, number three, and the cover is, like, embossed. You see how his ribs are... Those okay. are raised. It's, I yeah. Cut. yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, but it's just raised. It's like I think it's in boss. Is the word for. Peter Parker's Spider-Man number 89. I know some people that love me some Spider-Man. Oh, yeah. Spider-Man, y'all. Yeah. All right. Next up, we've got Avengers number 316. I actually, I think I need this book. I'm going to be checking the list. That's going to be keeping in the collection. Avengers 316. Okay. I think we're getting into the copper. Okay, now we got 1602 Marvel 1602 Marvel 1602. Cool little run. Conan the Barbarian number two variant edition. Conan the Barbarian number two variant edition. All right, we've got Avengers number 12 with that Stan Lee banner. Avengers. Nice. Hey, where is he? Here's Sh Sensational She-Hulk 46. I actually may need that because I am collecting this run. I'm collecting that run. Good stuff. Pull up those, dude. That is good. Original Sin Avengers number 31. Original Sin Avengers number 31. Ooh, we got a little Silver Surfer action. Silver Surfer issue number three. Sure. No, collecting that surfer. Next up, we've got the Punisher Annual number five. The Punisher Oh, annual shit. That's a good one, dude. That's a good one, bro. Okay. I like that. What? You've got to yeah, be kidding me. One. The Eternals number 10. Money. 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 Every one of those are key, bro. Oh, hell yeah. What? Dude, tell me I need this one, too. Amazing Spider-Man 156. Amazing oh, Spider-Man 156. Yeah, that's a dope book. First Mirage. Next up, Captain Marvel number 47. Captain Marvel number 47. Thanos. Against Thanos, or who is that? Uh, I can't this tell. This one is... Dark Side? I can't tell. I can't tell. That's, That's all right. Captain Marvel number Starling. 46. So 46 and 47. I wonder if it's a whole story arc. I wonder if that would be nice. So arcs. Now here's Miss Marvel number 5. Now this box is heating up. Miss Marvel oh, yeah. number five. Oh yeah, it's about to heat up. There's We're a couple on here. Like. Thor number two fifty three. Thor two fifty three. All of a sudden, things just got hot in here. The Defenders one fourteen. The Defenders one fourteen. All hmm. damn day. And how about this, Defenders? 27. Oh, bro, you're going to love goodness. this Daredevil. Oh, my goodness. Wait a minute. Daredevil number 24. You got to be kidding me, brother. Yeah, 12 bro. cent you Daredevil? 12 cent yep. Daredevil? Hell yeah. Game over, dude. Game over, brother. Oh, my goodness. What the hell? Are you kidding me? I don't even have this. I'm going on the wall. G.I. Joe number one from Image Comics. Game over, dude. Woo! Man, that was a hell of a... Oh, shit, this doesn't stop now. Okay, this is... Uh, this is this, I, I know what the story is. I've actually read this. The ship runs... There's a monster in the, in the ship that runs on people. Oh, I don't know it. All right. Number one, Silver Edition, Spider-Man number one. 
Man, right? First edition says he's dropping the elbow. What? Yeah, there it is, bro. There it is, you dude. I picked that one for you. Me, dude. Yeah. Are you shitting me? Yeah, man bat number 120 center, dude. Man bat number 125 center, but still, holy shit. Center. Beautiful book. I don't have Beautiful. that. That is in the collection. That's a keeper book. I don't know where to put it now. Man. Post- Bro, that, that the Daredevil fire. and the ASM alone are damn near worth the money. Dude, the grades are already coming. They're already A pluses. A pluses. Yeah, what are you Beavis and uh, Butthead number one. Beavis and there Butthead number one. Doctor Strange number 15. Doctor Strange 15. Let's get the tunes back on. Wow, this is crazy. That's not a mystery box. That was an A-OK. <laughs> Thanks, Gomez. No, these guys picked them out. The Punisher 39. The Punisher War Journal 39. All right, I've never seen this before. I've never seen this before. I've never seen this before, and it's absolutely really? insane in my collection. Spider-Man, Batman. Yeah. Are you kidding yep. me, bro? I've never seen this before. Spider-Man, Batman. It's awesome. Dude, that's that's staying in the collection. X Force number eighteen. X Force number eighteen. Stan of all, because just went from a C plus to A real fast. <laughs> All right, what else we got? Cable and Cable. I can't tell. Issues 18 and 20. Cable issues 18 and 20. All right, just a couple left. This box is just going for days. Earth's Mightiest here is Avengers number 8 variant edition. Great variant cover, though. Avengers number 8 variant. A couple more. Captain America. 423 Captain America 423 What is this? Uh Deathlock number 6 and Deathlock number 5. What a box, man. Holy moly, my arm is about yeah, to bro. fall off. Comic Head 84 with the stuff it. I got stuffed. According to Kenny, hashtag send me fifty dollars because I got stuffed. Great box, man. Here come here come the grades. A plus 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 is from the comic intellect P, who is the channel's newest supporter. Thank you very much, by the way. All right, you know what? Who else I needed to shout out? I don't know if she's here, but Lisa Noble is the new newest Patreon supporter of the channel. Lisa, thank you very much. For supporting the channel on Patreon. A, no doubt. Home run, my man. Stand a ball says A. F for fantastic. <laughs> Good stuff. A, man. A plus. Give yourself a pat on the back, my friend. Kenny came through again every time he does a mystery box. It's been fire. If you hear the words, mi- I'm doing a mystery box coming out of Kenny's mouth, you best jump on it. Jump yep. on it. Good stuff, fellas. Good stuff. All right. Well, we got one left. There's only one left. There's only one left. It is the Truth 3 box. So let's get to that one next. Fantastic job, Kenny. Comic Head 84. I played your intro on the way in. I'm going to play it on the way out because that was a fantastic round. I bet that Daredevil was your favorite. Um, man, there's a lot of good ones in there. Actually, you know what? The Batman Spider-Man is my favorite. I've never seen that. Okay. Two of my favorite characters right there. Well, I mean, yeah, that's man, pretty good. Wow, that's a lot of books. That was a lot of books. Okay, now we're going to get to the final one of the night, folks. This is the Truth 3. The Truth 3 box. Wow. Did I drop the thing? Dropped it. There you go. There you go. Well, man, that was crazy. Great job, Kenny. Appreciate that. 
I want to have shout out the chat. We got cardboard crazies is still hanging out. Agu's here. Jigs Kingdom says A plus on that. The comic Dom was giving it A plus. Batman Spider Man is a great read. I can't wait to get into that, Gomez. By the way, Gomez, you ready for this? Go. Oh, I got to change the camera for this. You're going to believe me. Okay. My boy, Gomez. You know, Gomez was the winner of a couple of really cool prizes, right? One of them was the. Um, uh, the big Star Wars toy, which I sh which I shipped to him. I sent him a photo and shipped it to him. And then I came back, and he also had won a comic book like two or three days earlier. And I didn't put the comic book. <laughs> I didn't put the comic book in the box with the toy, my friend. So I will have to ship that comic book out to you separately, man. I apologize about that. Go mess. But thank you for entering and participating because, hey, man, it is so easy to enter. And I give away a prize five days a week. As a matter of fact, I even show... So, uh, Monday's prize? Where's Monday's prize? What did I do with Monday's prize? What the heck did I do with Monday's prize? Ah, I don't know what I do with it. Yes, sir. What's that? Oh, did you ask for more time? My daughter needs more time on the iPad, and I have an She's app. been being a good kid, man. She has, actually. We got all our work done early. Oh, man, this is a good week of school. It's a really good week of school. We're starting to catch the groove. As I had mentioned earlier, school with the girls' home is getting easier. School with mama home? Eh, not so much. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> so, all right. There we go. So uh, this we're going to be internet pretty soon, guys. Day, folks. <laughs> final box of the day. Here we go. This is the um vampirella and i'm not even i don't collect vampirella but i just get i just there's, these things have been so amazing i was like yeah i'm gonna get up in these it, the, the, the truth two box got a's across the board let's see what the truth three box gets the final mystery box of the day let's see what we've got here and it's i don't know which way i should go first because they've got cert every single one of these has a cert on it i don't know which one's the one that's i'm confused the truth is billy right the truth is comics elite. Oh, okay. Uh, basically with market, I would consider Billy like the marketing and you know, Billy's got his pulse on what we want. So he, they basically said, Hey, what do you think of this? And he says, hell no, man, it's gotta be better than that. If you want this to be blockbuster, you need X, Y, and Z. And I think so far they've pretty much hit it out of the park. Holy moly. Uh Oh, what happened? These are amazing. Are you guys okay. ready to see this? Holy yeah. Yeah. Shit. Oh my God. All right, here we go. The truth three. They don't lie. I'm going to read the back. This one is, this is a copy of Vampirella number two from Mark Sporacio, Comics Elite Exclusive. There were 500 virgin copies printed. 100 of the lowest grade copies were destroyed and only 400 were port into, put into circulation. This is issue number 324 of 400. And we start with that cover. Ooh. Man, if I wasn't a Vampirella fan before, I'm going to be after this. That's Vampirella number two. We'll put that up there. Next up, we've got Vampirella and Red Sonia. Again, this is issue number 105 of 400. The same story there. 105 out of 400. 105 out of 400. This is the truth three, folks. The truth three. And next up is number 366 of 400. This is a copy of Vampirella Red Sonia again, but this is the Alfred Trujillo Comics exclusive. Alfred Trujillo Comics exclusive. Oh my goodness. Hey, Count Von Strange, thanks for showing up. I appreciate you taking the time today, as well as James Howard. Hey, there's my man Billy right there. He says 30 minute warning to Freaky Friday, guys. 10% off with the code Freaky. And dude, they're giving away. The second prize is a PS4. Second place prize is a PS4. First place prize is a statue. Mm. Oh, this is sick. Holy moly. <laughs> Dude, you what didn't happened? tell me there were naughties in here. Hold on. I got to get some tape. Hold on. Uh-oh. Oh, man. The family show, man. Come on. Let me get some tape on these boobies oh, over here. Whoa. Let me put some tape on those. Wow. I, feel like, I feel like if you're going to get a chick cover, might as well go naked. 
Yeah, well, I don't, 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 don't. <laughs> all right, next up we've got Vampirella Red Sonia, number 273 out of 400. Merritt Michaels is the artist, I believe, on this one. Look at this one. What's going Merit on here? Michaels. Look at her swinging the flaming sword, blood. Okay. Vampirella throwing the bats. Come that on, That might man. be my favorite one so far. Holy moly. All right. Check this one. I had to put I had to put the freaking tape on. I let me make sure there's no more that need that. All right. <laughs> we had to put the tape on this one. This is the holiday special, Naughty and Nice. Oh holiday yeah. special, Naughty and oh, Nice. Uh, what the <laughs> hell, bro? You got a naughty. Congrats. <laughs> Dude. All right. Naughty and nice. There you go. All right. Final two books of the Truth 3. These are great, man. Check this one out. I mean, I know it's cartoony, but it's so cool. Oh, wow. Check out this last one. And the final book from the Truth 3 is number. Okay. Again, these are all 500 virgin copies. They destroyed the lowest hundreds. 400 going to circulation. And this is an artist copy number 86 out of 100. 86 out of 100. Oh. oh. Wow. That is fantastic, Billy. Thank you very much for stopping by. Choo Choo Comics is also here. M3 still hanging out. Count Von Strange. Thanks for taking the time today. That is the final book in the final box. That is the truth three. Man, the beauty of these is this all stuff you've never seen before, right? Damn. The Truth 3 box right there. Oh, hi, Alea No Likey. Funk Comics says, give me an A, but hi, Alea said, give me the D. Bubba French, A pluses. All right. Hack is right down in the middle of C's. I see. All right. All right. Well, hey, the Truth 2 box was 100% A pluses across the board. True three, I still see some A's. It's gonna be, it's gonna be good. I got, I got Biggie Shaq's vote in there. He voted it. I like it. I like it. Ooh, Biggie, you didn't give the other truth box an A. Are you kidding me? I gave it a B. You did with that? What's wrong with you, man? Stand I, I, I'm not a variant guy. I'm uneducated, like I said in the chat. Hey, I don't know. It. Comics from CFAF. No, Gomez. What is a V for Vampirella? Maybe that's right. Oh, man. He says, I have to go back and look at the certs. Man, there was some good stuff, man. Each one of these is an exclusive 400 out of a, uh, you know, the last one was out of 100. It's number 86 out of 100. There's only 100 of those. Yeah, that limited I, stuff is pretty weird. I though. really do, too. I really dig that limited kind of stuff. All yeah. right. So let me go ahead and switch this overlay back over here. Uh, why do I keep hitting that goddamn screen share button? What the hell is wrong with me? <sighs> I am not sharing the screen, folks. That's it. That was the show. That was the fourth edition of the Mystery Box Challenge. I want to thank everybody that's hanging out. And hey, if you're watching this on the Rewind, it's the first time you're checking out the channel. Thanks for stopping by one. Think about subscribing. Hit that notification bell if you're not already getting notifications. And uh, and see what I got going on Monday through Friday. Because Monday through Friday, I am giving stuff away like a bell. There it is. As a matter of fact, I have it up. This is Monday's giveaway, which was from the Truth Box 1, folks. This was from the Truth Box 1. This is Monday's giveaway, and you can be entered to win this free of charge, including shipping. All you got to do is comment on this morning's morning show. Comment on the community post, which I'm about to put up after this show, which I forgot to put up earlier today. I apologize, but it'll be up all weekend. And drop in that hashtag Comic Pop Family. What was my video today? What was my Comic Pop Family video today? Um... I can't remember who my comic pop family video was now. That's embarrassing. It was Lucha yesterday. It was. Oh, that was one of the, that was one of the best uh turnouts I've ever had. Was it uh, one link? And no, it was a small creator. We only had a few views. Oh, that's so embarrassing. So that, that's I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, right. guys. Watch this morning's show. Drop the hashtag on there. That's a third entry. I suck. That sucks. Um 84 is the champion oh that's tonight that was something i didn't get to shout out because he didn't have his thing up uh he didn't have his thing up <laughs> thumbnail tonight's the hunt and 84 is defending his <coughs> crown 
in the hunt on Tony Sanders' channel. Thanks for reminding me, Funk Comics. By the way, is there anything else that we should shout out here, folks? Power Hour. Power Hour. That that thumbnail wasn't up. So Power Hour Sorry. tonight. Is that on 84? Yep. So that's got to be before the hunt. Before the hunt? Yep, yeah. 9 and then 11 o'clock. Man, there's a I'm gonna update the I'm gonna update the playlist, everybody, as soon as this is over. Thanks for hanging out with me. Uh shout out to all the new channel members. I will have you on the next shout out screen. Shout out to all the Patreon supporters and shout out to everybody in the chat who has been hanging out. I appreciate you. Everybody that stopped by, I'm not gonna give an overall grade, but honestly, if I'm looking at what Biggie Shaq put here, one of them was a B. I, I don't know, man. I think the truth too, or 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 Kenny's box has to take it tonight. Kenny's box for fifty bucks was huge, um, and then that truth two box was crazy fire. I don't know. It's gonna be yeah. between those. I'll let you guys decide. I don't want to be the person who decides. No. <laughs> <laughs> all right oh yes we've got a shout out tonight there's a lot of auctions tonight i found out there's a third auction now i'll, I'll, I'll throw him off the chat rcg tonight you see 7 p.m central standard time he's got a great panel also tonight lords of the long box doing an auction also tonight my boys in houston that's right chino comics and Killing more they're doing an auction so there's three auctions tonight plenty of ways to get books and i might as well mention it I'm supposed to be doing a pop-up tomorrow morning. We're going to do a pop-up shop tomorrow morning after John's Comics with Kids. I will have one or two guest sellers, and I will have a pop seller on the panel for sure. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning uh, after John's Comics with Kids. If you don't know who John's Comics with Kids is. Cover champion. You'll be on the hunt, too. Come on, man. It'll be in the playlist. Watch him first, and as soon as he ends, we'll fire our stream up. Thanks again, everybody. Biggie, you got anything else you want to say? Sort of oh, power hour. I want to say thank you to the chat for coming through, helping us grade these book, these uh, mystery boxes. Appreciate you, Discovery, for the invite, dude. If I get a free, free little moment of time, dude, I'll hop in tomorrow with you too, man. I appreciate you, Biggie. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate everyone hanging out with us. And as always, don't forget. It was a really good, good time. time. Good times. Ah. Nice work, everyone. Sharp broadcast. Really good. Everyone on the floor as well. Really a lot of hustle. I liked it.